Symantec Data Loss Prevention is a comprehensive, content-aware solution that discovers, monitors, and protects confidential data wherever it is stored or used, across network, storage, and endpoint systems. It has been said that antivirus keeps the bad stuff out, and DLP keeps the good stuff in. It does this by scanning, monitoring, and protecting data stored within your environment or attempting to leave your network. In the past several years, we have seen many breaches of confidential data that could have been prevented if a data loss prevention solution had been in place. Here are some high-profile examples. Symantec Data Loss Prevention covers the data loss vectors across the network, end-user endpoints, and storage locations. By leveraging all the available components of the DLP suite, we are able to provide a comprehensive approach to securing both data at rest and data in motion. Here we see a basic overview of the DLP architecture. The middle section is comprised of the DLP management components, the Enforce Console, and Oracle Database. The servers on the left represent detection servers used to scan designated network devices inside the corporate LAN. These are typically scheduled events. The servers on the right represent detection servers that receive traffic from other network devices and modify the data as needed before it leaves the environment. Note that these servers do not have to be in the DMZ. With all of these components, the only requirement is that the data is sent to the server. They are designed to catch traffic on the way out of a corporate network. Looking at the arrows, we can see that all communication makes its way back to the Enforce platform, the brains of the operation. Next, we'll review the process and workflow for each of the individual segments of the data loss prevention solution. The Network Discover component of Semantic Data Loss Prevention lets you locate confidential files on the various repositories throughout your environment. These include file servers, SQL databases, collaboration platforms, websites, stored PST files, and any other data repositories that may be on your network via our Flance Response plugin APIs. The Network Response component lets you copy or quarantine these files to a predefined, secure location. Network Monitor is a span or tap into the network that allows full line capture. Whenever a communication channel is opened up, Network Monitor inspects, captures, and reports on any DLP policy violations that may be contained in the data streams. The Network Prevent for Email component integrates with SMTP-compliant mail transfer agents to monitor SMTP traffic and then block or modify it for downstream processing. Network Prevent for Web integrates with web proxies to monitor HTTP, HTTPS and FTP traffic, and then terminate or modify it prior to downstream processing if a violation is detected. Endpoint prevent and discover operations are performed by a local agent install of the Symantec DLP endpoint agent. This agent is responsible for performing full drive scans in addition to monitoring the potential egress points unique to end user systems. As the install is local to the system, DLP Endpoint is able to monitor user data interactions whether they are on-network or off-network. If security events do occur, the agent stores the incident details locally and provides them to the Endpoint server upon reconnection. These incidents are triggered by the defined rules within your Symantec DLP policies. What is a policy? A policy is the driving force behind DLP. Without them, all we have is a well-laid-out interface with nothing to do. A policy defines the sensitive, confidential, or proprietary information that is to be protected. A policy group is a collection of policies assigned to a detection server or set of detection servers, which evaluates the policies against collected data. A violation of the policy results in an incident, and response rules are used to take action. Depending on their function, some response rules are executed on the detection server, like block or modify, and others execute on the Enforce server, such as setting security level. Here we see some DLP use cases. Bear in mind, the goal of DLP isn't to spy on employees and have reason for termination. The goal of DLP is to minimize data loss through poor practices and protect customer data. In working with our customers over the years, we've developed a proven methodology for measurably reducing their data loss risk. It's made up of four key stages, visibility, remediation, notification, and prevention. One of the biggest challenges is gaining visibility into where data loss risk is. With Symantec's customizable reporting and dashboards, we can help identify the exposed areas, broken business processes, and high-risk users through a single pane of glass. But finding incidents is just the first step. Once you know what business processes are broken and who your top offenders are, you need to start remediation. 90% of DLP is about what you do after you find incidents. 
With Symantec DLP, we can set up custom workflow paths and remediation responses based on severity to make sure the right action is taken at the right time. Notification is one of the single biggest contributors to reducing risk. By notifying employees instantly of inappropriate data use, you can educate them on security policies, change their behavior patterns, and eventually reduce the workload for your response teams. With visibility, remediation, and notification, you will whittle down the number of incidents. The last step is prevention, stopping data from inappropriately leaving your network. Through a combination of blocking, quarantining, and conditional modification, Symantec DLP provides the tools to prevent data loss at every egress point. In summary, semantic data loss prevention can significantly reduce the overall risk of data loss. We help security teams to enable the business side by educating employees, fixing broken business processes, and supporting business activity to occur securely.